hello everyone welcome to another video in my channel in this video we have an infinite nested radical terms forming an equation on the left hand side we have a square root sign covering all the other square roots and inside we have x plus square root x plus square root x down to infinity and on the right hand side we have a bigger square root covering all the other square roots and inside we have x times square root x times square root x down to infinity how are we going to solve a problem like this what i'm going to do is to rewrite both terms on the left and right hand side to get their equivalent and then equate the equivalent and then solve for the value of x we are actually asked to find the value of x and there is a condition x is a member of the set of positive integers having said this i am going to equate y to the expression on the left hand side so i have y equals to square root x plus square root x plus square root x down to infinity and if i square both sides i'll have removed the first square root sign it becomes y squared is equal to x plus square root x plus square root x down to infinity now if you check this term in the right hand side we we'll see that it is still the same thing as the term in the original equation that means i'm going to put y in place of it so y squared is equal to x plus y and then bring all the terms to the left hand side y squared minus y minus x is equal to zero we have the quadratic equation in y now let us use the formula method to find the value of y y will now be equal to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a which is the formula now y equals to minus b b is minus 1 minus minus 1 plus or minus b is minus 1 that's minus 1 all squared minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus x all over 2 times 1 now y is equal to minus times minus is plus that is plus 1 here plus or minus the square root of 1 squared that is 1 minus minus times minus is plus i have 4x all over 2 times 1 is 2 now let us remember that the condition is that x is a member of the set of positive integers if you check the term in the square root even if x is 1 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and the square root of 5 is greater than 1 so 1 minus this square root of 5 will be a negative number that means this term or this solution for y that has this negative is not valid so i'm going to go with y is equal to 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4x all over 2 let's call this equation 1 let's do the same thing to the term in the right hand side of the original equation so y is equal to square root of x times square root of x times square root of x down to infinity if i square both sides again i will have y squared is equal to x times square root of x times square root of x down to infinity again this term in the right hand side is the same thing as the term in the original equation so i'm going to put y in place of it now that becomes y squared is equal to x times y and so taking this term to the left hand side y squared minus xy is equal to zero let us factorize y out i have y minus x is equal to zero y is equal to zero or y minus x is equal to zero however y cannot be zero because we have numbers that are not zero here under the square root sign otherwise y is equal to zero and then we know that this term is equal to this term and this term is not zero therefore y being zero is not a valid solution so y will now be equal to x which is from this part let's call this one equation two i will now equate one and two together equate one and two from equation one i have one plus 
square root of 1 plus 4x all over 2 and equation 2 I have y is equal to x so let us cross multiply if we cross multiply 1 plus square root of 1 plus 4x is equal to 2x let me go up now I will now take I will now take this one to this side so I have square root of 1 plus 4x is equal to 2x minus 1. Now square both sides. This square will cancel the square roots. So 1 plus 4x is equal to 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 1 is minus 2x. Minus 1 times 2x, another minus 2x. If I add them together, I have minus 4x. Then minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So this and this will cancel out, giving us 4x is equal to 4x squared minus 4x. Now 4x squared minus 8x is equal to 0 when I take this term to this side. Now to find the value of x, let's divide both sides by 4. I have x squared minus 2x is equal to 0 divided by 4 is 0. Then factorize x, x, x minus 2 is equal to 0 then x equals to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 2 let's remember that x cannot be 0 therefore this is rejected and this is the solution please like this video if you find it interesting subscribe to my channel if I haven't done so and also share this video I would also like to read your comment in the comment section thanks for watching and see you in another video